haul time. I finally have a new haul for you guys. I have not done a haul in quite a while, I feel. And it was actually my birthday two days ago on the 24th. So I want to thank you all for all the birthday wishes because I know um, a few of you guys who follow me here on YouTube also follow me on Instagram. And I saw you guys' amazing comments over on there and I want to thank you for those comments. But with my some of my birthday money, I actually went out shopping primarily at Zara. I do also have a few items that are like collective from the past um, from my past haul till now, which is probably about two months, so there's just a few items here. They're a little bit more pricier items, but I want to share those with you guys as well. A fun little um, sort of announcement to make in this video. It's not even an announcement. It's just another giveaway. Like, I swear I've been doing a giveaway in every video, but whatever. So the first item is actually what I am giving away, but it's also what I purchased. So I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is the brand new Moschino with Jeremy Scott phone case. It is the like little popsicle. It is literally insane. I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute and it smells like chocolate, but I'm actually, I actually purchased two of these. I bought one for myself and one for you guys. The way that you guys can enter is go find this photo on my Instagram and you guys can see the photo here. All you need to do is follow me on Instagram and then leave a tag, leave a comment tagging one of your friends. You can leave multiple comments tagging each of your friends, however, however you want to do it. You will be entered to win this phone case, but I'm obsessed with this phone case. I think you guys knew I used to have the French fry one by Moschino and Jeremy Scott, but I recently upgraded to this little popsicle for summer. I think it's just insane. I love it. It has little googly eyes and I just can't believe it smells like chocolate. And like, I even feel like you could take selfies like with the stick. Like, oh, selfies. These next items are from Zara and I'm actually going to start off with the pants because I think they're my favorite parts. Zara's pants are insane. I'm obsessed with them. But this first pair is actually a floral pair and it's created from like a linen fabric and they're really lightweight. I also love the fact that the pants are really long. They're a lot longer than a normal pants, so if you want to, you can wear them long and sort of have them scrunched on your leg just so that they fit, or you could cuff them at the bottom or tightly cuff them like I've been recently doing a lot. But I think that the almost monochromatic um, look of the blue pattern is really subtle, and it just adds a nice little pattern, and I think it's very summery that can transition also into fall, which I think is really great. The next pair is a denim pair, and it's actually a discharged denim, which means that there is a bleach effect happening on there, which creates this sort of like Aztec, almost iCat or iCat, I don't even know how to say that, pattern on here, but I think it's also a really subtle pattern that just adds to any muted or like toned down outfit. You can just wear it with like a plain shirt, and these pants can definitely be the focal point of your outfit, or they can also be paired with like a more crazier shirt, and they'll still create, like, create that balance, I feel, between like... They could be dressed up or dressed down, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, the, this pair I actually purchased about a month ago. It's also another denim pair of pants, and these are amazing. I love these ones. These are from their Denim Couture collection, and they have this amazing stitching on the front of them. I, You guys have probably seen these in videos already, but I haven't hauled them yet. And they have this really cool, like, motorcycle, almost rugged stitching lines across them, and I also love the cuffed ankle at the bottom. It just adds a little bit of that um, jogger, almost athletic like feel to the jean, which is really trendy right now. And this next item is a jacket from Zara, and I am obsessed with this. You guys may have seen it on my Instagram. I got it about a month ago. It's the same time I went and got the pair of pants I just showed you, but it is a denim jacket with white leather sleeves. And I think what mainly attracted me to this jacket was the fact that this, the leather was white. I think that white is a really hot, trendy color for summer and just me because I love denim and I also love like the layered jackets with different sleeves, different inserts, things like that. I love the fact that it was the denim on the outside. The denim is also a little bit distressed and acid washed almost and then like the sporty almost knit to it and then it has that inset like jersey knit hood which I just love. It, it makes it look like you're literally wearing three different pieces but you're only wearing one jacket. So next is a sweater, and I actually got this one really cheap in the semi-annual sales that I was having right now. It was only $15, and it is this cream knit sweater, and it almost has a chevron or like zigzag, zigzag pattern to the knit. I love that the, um, the yarn used in this fabric is also like a boucle yarn, which means that it basically um, like ravels back and forth. So it's not like just a clean strand of yarn, it's actually knitted with sort of like a fluffy yarn. So it has a little bit more texture and um, I just love the element to it. 
This next piece is a little bit on the crazy side. I don't know how much you guys are going to like it, but I think it is really cool. I actually got it, again, at the semi-annual sale, but separately. I think I've gone to the Zara semi-annual sale like four times now, and so I picked up this poncho because it was the last one there, and I saw it a few times. It retailed for like $99, and I was like, I'm not spending $99 on this poncho, so I only had to spend $29, and I think it's really cool. It'll be perfect for autumn and winter. Um, it's just like this oversized, almost Kanye. West inspired street style black um, terry cloth. I think it will be a really cool piece to layer and just add different garments underneath and on even on top like you could add a jacket it might add a cool effect. I'm not sure I have to play around with it but I'll probably be styling it for you guys in a future video. This last garment or like actual clothing piece is from Top Man and I went there and it's sort of their transitional phase right now between summer and fall so they have just some random stuff that I'm not really interested in but I did find just this plain white shirt with the scoop neck and I wore this the other night with those Aztec jeans I showed you guys on my birthday actually I wore them and I just love the way it looked. It, the shirt is pretty transparent so you can actually see like my nips through it, it's like a nip slip shirt but I think it's okay, it's not like super risque or anything so I got it just to like layer under pieces and it also looks really great under the Zara poncho that I This last piece I want to share with you guys is just a little bracelet, I actually got this at Nordstrom, it is a Marc Jacobs little like tiny um, bracelet and it's black enamel with the gold on it and I just loved it. I thought it had a nice little element to my stack of daily like bracelets that I wear and I just loved it when I saw it in store. It was really nice for like almost a designer piece of jewelry if you want to say that and it comes off and on really easy. It's also like really delicate. And so I think that's all for this haul, you guys. I don't I don't have that many pieces, but since they are Zara pieces, they are like pretty pricey. So this many Zara pieces for me was kind of a lot of money, but um, I really love them and I can't wait to feature them and share them for you guys. Don't forget, you guys can also join in on the most, you know, phone case because this is just so cute and it smells like chocolate. Who doesn't want a chocolate phone case, honestly? And also you guys can um, subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video because I would seriously love you for that. I wanna thank you all for like all the new subscribers and people that have been following me here on YouTube. And don't forget, you can do whatever else you're supposed to do. So all my links from the down bar below like normal and I will catch y'all next time. Bye everybody.